Hi faculty, how you doing? Um, I know we're in some very crazy times right now, but um, I just wanted to kind of give you a video introduction here to the uh, D2L, S well actually it's the SBCT uh, shell that we created for collaboration. And I've made some notes here, so I'm gonna just read from my notes real quickly. Um, but um, this coronavirus has really caused a major shift in the way we deliver instruction. And it's it's not just the higher ed sector, but um, as you've seen in recent news reports, every industry in the country is being impacted by this pandemic. But we also know that this just adds to the level of stress and anxiety that many of you might be feeling right now, especially if you never thought the day would come when you would be asked to change your teaching methods. As someone said earlier, our students didn't sign up for online classes either. And so with that, I would remind faculty that as you're building the online portions of your classes to think about your students, be creative in finding ways for them to stay connected. I'm encouraged by some of the ideas that have come forth from those faculty who are accustomed to teaching online, like surveying your questions, or I'm sorry, your students to find out what kind of connectivity they have. If as an instructor, you're planning to use technology that you're familiar with, maybe it's a good idea to find out if your students have access to that technology. And for those faculty who teach lab-based courses, I appreciate the creative thoughts that have been shared thus far. While I fully recognize that the hands-on skills cannot be taught in a virtual environment. And so I would add that we are not the only community college in the country trying to find innovative ways to deliver lab-based instruction. So if you have colleagues at other community colleges, reach out, find out what they're doing because we're at a point right now where it's each one teach one. And so with that, please use this uh, collaborative site as a resource to help you build your remote delivery. Our associate deans, Dr. Barnes and Rebecca Walker and myself, we're populating this shell with information that will be useful to you in this space. We've also created discussion boards to share information with your colleagues and to ask questions. So please use it to help each other. And finally, again, I recognize how stressful this is. And so let's be mindful of our mental sanity. All of us are working remotely. We've got the kids running around in the background. We're sharing space with other family members who are also working from home. So don't be afraid to just walk away from the computer. Go get a cup of coffee or go for a walk. But we have to tackle this in bite-sized pieces. Dr. Barnes is going to share some really good information on how to build your online course one piece at a time. So I just want to say thank you for your commitment and know that your flexibility and your patience are very important right now. And with that, I say peace and stay liquid.